Hey everybody, welcome back to A Brief on Grief. So today um, I wanted to share about unmet expectations. So like I mentioned in a the, in the couple of videos, I think um, before this, I'm reading Brene Brown's Atlas of the Heart. And with this book, she has an intention of highlighting 80 different, <laughs> 80, 80 different, 87 different emotions and emotional experiences that we experience as humans to normalize, to normalize this very emotional journey that we're on and that we all share together um, to increase the connection when we're feeling this uncomfortable stuff and decrease the connection and isolation. Where does that sound familiar? This is fully my intention with these videos and with this series of talking about grief and loss and normalizing this experience and bringing awareness to help people recognize when they're experiencing loss and grief. And, and with that recognition comes more love and acceptance for our emotions and ourselves, which automatically pans out to more love and acceptance for the other people in our lives that we care about and just in general. So of course I was pulled to come and make a video on this. So she does a really great job of talking about unmet expectations. Of course, I was pulled to it because I thought, well, of course, this is one of like losses of dreams, hopes and expectations is one of the prevalent losses that we can experience almost daily as humans. So uh, and she she describes it really beautifully. And so with this idea of unmet expectations, so anytime we are maybe looking to connect with somebody um, and we have an eye like we text them and we're hoping to hear back from them So something as simple as that or we arrange to meet up and it doesn't pan out um, Or we're trying to plan something in our personal life or professional life and it falls through and it doesn't work out Those are all examples of unmet expectations. There's numerous numerous of them numerous numerous ones, <laughs> whatever <laughs> and when we have feel unmet expectations so when something we're hoping and dreaming for it doesn't work out we that's a loss so we feel grief right and again we can feel grief in lots of different ways sadness anger fear frustration um, disappointment all this stuff so she highlights disappointment as the key emotion with unmet, unmet expectations but I, I know from my experience through grief and loss that it's way more than that but what I love she talks about is we're not only talking about unmet expectations that we, we maybe have that have spoken, we've spoken out loud to somebody, which by the way is super vulnerable and super courageous to actually get excited and joyed and looking forward to something and to share it with somebody else. Um, if something like that doesn't pan out, we feel grief of the unmet expectation. But the key is those unmet expectations that we don't speak. Those unmet expectations that we are maybe not even aware of enough in ourselves, let alone are enough that we've spoken them to somebody else. So just think of just all those, if when you meet up with a friend or you even text a friend, maybe hoping to um, share with them something or hoping to like arrange like a coffee date or something and you don't hear from them. So you have these expectations and hopes of that text of what it may lead to. Um, or you're just with your partner in your house and something you were hoping maybe this weekend that you go out and have like a date night, um, but you didn't speak it to your partner and then he ends up maybe planning to go somewhere with friends or something or is out of town or needs to work or whatever and you're left with an unmet expectation, but it was unspoken, right? So I think those unmet expectations, she says, are a huge part of that, those uncomfortable emotions of disappointment and other things like I said earlier um, that come with unmet expectations. So I just, I love the way she expressed that and I never thought of unmet expectations in that way as the stuff that's obvious that we speak and that we've shared with other people, but also the stuff that's underneath inside of us that we're maybe not even aware of or we haven't, haven't been able to speak it to somebody. So, and she encourages in this, in this writing about unmet expectations to, to jump in and be courageous about speaking them because when we have a conversation with somebody we care about, about the things we're hoping for, 
that opens up that path for connection so that somebody else can maybe also maybe feel comfortable speaking what their ideas and hopes are for something, right? Think of like planning a vacation with somebody and two, two people have different ideas of what they want to do on a vacation, right? That's again, but they haven't spoken it. But if we are courageous and open up that path of communication to chat and share what we want, and hopefully for that other person to feel safe to share what they want, then we can kind of come together, right? And be like, okay, if this is, this is really important to both of us, then we do this together. And then we have our own time to do these other things that we may really want to enjoy as well. But when there's no conversation about it, it's very easy for us to set ourselves up to feel grief and loss from unmet expectations. So love the topic, love the way Brene outlined it in the book. And yeah, I think that's a wrap on another session. So take care, everybody. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.